Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, welcome to part 3 of the 16x20 ultra large format camera build series. In part 1, I talked about the lens. In part 2, I talked about the camera build. If you have not watched these two uh, videos, do click on the link on the top right hand corner. In this part 3, I'm going to talk about the shutter that I built for this lens. In part 2 of the video, I did a test shot and I used the lens cap as a shutter control. Uh, simply remove the lens cap when you are making the exposure and cover it back when the timing is rich. So I think that works well for most of the time. But for this shutter, the main reason I built it is because I want to take my self portrait. So in the event that there is nobody, I have no assistant or uh, no one around to help me to remove the lens cap and putting it back, I have to make use of the shutter. So come along with me to see how I build out this shutter. The build is simple, it just involves some uh, plywood, uh, screws and hinges. You don't need to have much uh, woodworking skills or power tools. Come along with me and uh, we will also do a test shot and to see how this shutter performs. So this is the lens support that I built for the lens. You probably see this in my um, previous videos in part 1 and part 2 of this ultra large format camera build. So today, I uh, will talk about the shutter that I built for this lens. And it's a very simple one. As you can see, it's actually a flat shutter. It's just a piece of wood that will cover up the lens. Uh, when we are ready to expose and then um, uncover it when we are doing the exposure right so it's just a piece of plywood attached so I have attached this um, this piece of wood to the lens board using uh, two hinges the screw uh, the screws are a bit in the way so I've actually um, cut up some uh, wood here so that the hinges will not hinder the closing right so you also see a few pieces of wood here and so below there's another one this is to just to block the wood from opening up uh, further not that we can't but um, if we open it up further down that means greater than this angle uh, it will take a longer time for it to close back so I think this angle is quite alright so the flap is actually quite uh, straightforward I have uh, drew some black flap uh, on this side and then screw in two eye screw on this side and this side right I'll explain why and then of course we have another uh, so called brass handle here okay mm. so this black felt will actually um, make better light proofing when the felt is closed so that the contact between the um, piece of wood and the felt and the lens uh, close up so that there is no light lit so how do we uh, keep this flap um, attached to the lens itself okay so I just make use of some very simple uh, rubber band okay the normal rubber band that you will use or you can actually replace it with some elastic band um, which I probably will because uh, this rubber band lose their resistance quite easily and I have to change them quite often so what I have here is a piece of wood that will act as the toggle it will prevent the rubber band from <laughs> going out on from the eye screw and it's also a easy way to fit it so you can see that right there's some resistance it will it act like a spring this rubber band look like a spring that will always bring the flap back to the lens itself so I have two one on each side and you notice that this rubber band is actually just um, um, attached to one of the, the mounting ring holes. Huh? Initially, I thought I need to build uh, some 
piece of wood attachment here to secure the rubber band on this end but I thought since we are using a cardboard camera and the lens um, mounting ring holes are not used I'm, I might as well make use of it so I'll show you the other another angle on how I attach the rubber band to the flap That's a simple rubber band, it will not fall off but yet create a good contact with the flap and the lens. So how about this uh, handle here? What, what is it used for? Of course one way is that we can manually pull it down. right? But um, my intention was to use it for taking self-portrait. So one way or the most the simplest way is to simply tie a string to this knob or uh, in my case i tie a wire because this is the long spool that of wire that i have and uh, because of the distance of the camera to the subject or to myself so i need a long cable to actually pull the flap down right like this manner So this is a remote release. So I will also make use of this pulley which I'll put on the floor when I'm uh, sitting down to take my own self portrait. Uh, the reason is because instead of just pulling down the wire to trip the shutter or to open up the flap, so what I want to do is translate this to a pulling up. Right? So if I... You can take a look at the... So if I pull... Pull up the, the wire that will open up the flap also. So if I'm the subject, I think it's easier for me to pull up the wire rather than pulling down the wire. Right?
you for watching to the end of this video. As you can see, the shutter works. I'm not saying that this shutter will work on all lenses because this lens is actually 8kg heavy. So it's unlikely to suffer from any major shake uh, when you pull and release the, the board itself. Uh, there are bound to be some variation when I pull and release the shutter. But I don't think that's going to be too obvious on such a big negative. Uh, what I can see from all this test shot is that it's more of the motion blur because of the long exposure time of uh, 4 to 8 seconds and uh, also in, in terms of the arm action where I pull the string. Of course, this kind of shutter is uh, uh, most useful when you are looking at uh, probably a longer exposure time of a few seconds. If you are looking for something of a faster exposure time like 1 over 1, 2, 5 of a second, you probably have to look at another design. Okay, so uh, but it was fun doing out this shutter. I will think and see is there any other improvement I can make to it. If you have any uh, ideas for improvement or any other thoughts on this shutter, please leave it in the comment section below. And again, thank you. I'll see you at my next video. Bye! Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally, do subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you at my next video. Take care. Bye!